La diffusion vient de démarrer. Tous les participants sont en mode écoute seul. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this uh, webinar about the update 2021.1 of advanced design. So it's time to start. So today, uh, the topic is a technical overview of uh, this uh, update 2021.1 of advanced design, our uh, FEM analysis software. Um, so I will run this presentation with uh, my colleagues. So I'm Joseph Pais and I will run Uh, this presentation with uh, Mateusz Bocinski, our product manager of Advanced Design. So again, welcome to this session. Um, just a few words about myself. So uh, I'm the product director of the Simulate activity at Greatex. So I'm a structural in, uh, engineer uh, with more than 20 years experience in the construction industry. Uh, so I'm working uh, for Greatex since a while. Uh, I went through different jobs positions, uh, uh, pre-sales, doing demos, technical supports, projects for our customers, specifications, writing, and so on. Uh, and uh, today I'm in charge of all Simulate products at, uh, for the group. I'm also in parallel uh, teaching at the CNAM University for almost 15 years, teaching reinforced concrete and uh, dynamic analysis. So as I told you, I will run this presentation with Uh, my colleague uh, Mateus, who is the product manager of Advanced Design, located uh, in Poland. Uh, so Mateus is also a civil engineer with uh, a big experience uh, on the structural analysis software. So he was before working for Robot. So he joined Gretech six years ago uh, and uh, took over the position of product manager for Advanced Design. So we will both. Uh, handle this webinar. Um, so this version, this release 21.1, so we can speak about a release or an update, but as you will see, uh, there is a lot of content. So that's why we can say it's, it's, it's a release, an intermediate release. So this version is available for download. So probably some of you already downloaded it. Uh, if not, uh, as being a Gretech customer, you can access your Gretech Advantage Uh, customer portal, uh, you have here uh, the address, uh, the link. So it can be different depending on your language. Here is the link to access our Gretech Advantage uh, in English. Uh, the version is available for download. So just go there and download uh, the online setup. And you have also the possibility, in addition to this webinar, uh, you have the possibility to visit this web page Uh, which is uh, on the gretech.com. This page also exists on some uh, local websites where you have uh, more details uh, about what's new in this update 2021 of advanced design. Of course, the, the subject of this webinar is to go through some of those uh, new functionalities. Um, Before uh, going in the details, uh, let me say a few, allow me to say a few words about the rebranding. Um, as you may, you probably noticed already in the version 2021 that we released uh, in May, uh, we have rebranded uh, our softwares. The idea is to keep only two brands, Advanced Design and Powerpack. Uh, for a, an easiest understanding of our uh, solution. So the idea is that before um, we were speaking about the power pack for Revit, we were speaking about the power pack for Advanced Steel as uh, brands uh, with dedicated logos. We were speaking about beam designers. We were speaking about Advanced Design uh, as well. Uh, and in some countries also uh, some local products. So the idea is to simplify Uh, the communication and keep only two brands, Advanced Design, which is a very important brand, uh, and uh, Advanced Power Pack. So we have two brands. Um, and as I told you, in the 2021 version in May, we already did the first step of this rebranding, uh, means that now all our uh, modules running on uh, Autodesk platforms, either Revit, either Advanced Steel, are going under the brand Powerpack. 
Uh, now with this update 21.1, we are doing the second step of the rebranding. Uh, so uh, it's about the beam designer module. So you know the beam designers are the design modules, uh, some for reinforced concrete structural members. Uh, we also have a beam designer for steel connections. So those uh, modules uh, are rebranded either into uh, Powerpack, if running on Autodesk platforms. So every, all our tools running on Revit, for example, are under Powerpack ribbons. And the uh, beam designers running as standalone applications or uh, embedded in advanced design are going uh, under advanced design brand. So for, uh, for new prospects, uh, we have probably prospects uh, connected to this webinar. It's easier to understand and for our users as well. So for example, now you will have uh, advanced design. So you will use advanced design with the global uh, modeling tools, the FEM engine, the FEM capabilities, the design, and all also the advanced design modules integrated in within the same application. Um, just uh, to, 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 to tell you, to announce that uh, we are speaking a little bit about Powerpack. So the objective of this webinar is advanced design. But if you are interested, if you are a user of the Powerpack, uh, do not miss the, the next webinar dedicated to Advanced Powerpack 21.1. Uh, so probably you saw uh, this banner on our socials, uh, on LinkedIn, uh, on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, so if you got, uh, we will also share these presentations with the, the, the registered people. So you can, uh, following here the link, you can register to this webinar. So the webinar is on Monday next week. So please register if you want to discover more uh, about the Powerpack 21.1 uh, as well. OK, um, now let's come back to advanced design, which is the topic of our webinar today. Um, you probably got this information already. So we created a virtual stand. So why? Because in this, unfortunately, in this uh, COVID time, it's very difficult for us to do some physical events in our different subsidiaries. So we would like to come to invite you uh, in our offices and speak about this update. But as you know, uh, it's, it's not possible at the time being. So we have created this virtual stand. Uh, so again, uh, we will share with you the, 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 the link. And if you connect to the virtual stand, uh, you will see. So you, you just have to click to start the tour. And you will arrive uh, in this stand, uh, which is dedicated to Advanced Design 21.1, with a lot of information. So uh, here, the, 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 the link to join our webinar today. Uh, here, you have uh, also uh, a zone where you can uh, cons uh, have a look to uh, the brochure of advanced design, which is interesting uh, for people who want to know more about advanced design. You can also download uh, the brochure as a PDF file. Here you have some TVs with different uh, content. So here you have uh, the access to the same web page that I shown you just before. So the, 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 the page uh, for the advanced design 2020. 20, 21.1 uh, release with the details, the technical details of what's new in this version. Uh, but also you have uh, a link to some movies dedicated to advanced design, a general movie, uh, a movie uh, of two minutes uh, showing the top four or five features of advanced design 21.1. Uh, you have also here, uh, a testimonial, a five minutes testimonial from one of our sales uh, guy in UK explaining you uh, the benefits of using advanced design integrated in a BIM workflow. Um, and you have as well uh, customer references here, for example, uh, which are really interesting to discover different kinds of projects done by our users. Uh, in different countries, in Poland, in UK, 
uh, and you have the, the, the projects and an explanation what are the benefits, what are the, my, the most uh, important features of the advanced design used on those projects. So this kind of success stories uh, can be interesting for uh, users as well because you may discover uh, a part, uh, a benefit of advanced design that uh, you didn't use uh, till now. Um, also here a part to know more about Cretec. Uh, so here uh, a link to the corporate movie to better understand who is Gretech. So Gretech is not only a provider of structural analysis solution, but we provide a broad solutions to cover uh, all the create, simulate, fabricate, and manage uh, parts of, uh, of real projects. Uh, so you can uh, discover more uh, just watching this corporate movie. And here, for the ones who are not yet uh, advanced design users and want to get uh, a trial, you just click there and you will be able to fill a form and get a trial version of advanced design. So I really invite you uh, to visit this virtual stand, uh, spend a few minutes inside, uh, and it will be, I think, very helpful for, for, for you. Um, okay, so that was a very short introduction. Uh, so now I will give uh, the mic to uh, Mateus, who will go much more in the technical details of uh, what is new in this 21.1 uh, version of advanced design. So Mateus, if you are ready, the stage is... Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so I... Do you hear me? Yeah, so I will, <laughs> I will define you as presenter. Okay. And now you should be able to share your screen and take over. Yes, you should see my screen now. Yeah, yeah, we see your screen, yeah. Yes, great, great, great. So, so I will start. <clears throat> okay. Uh... Good afternoon. Uh, welcome all to, on today's uh, webinar. Today I'll show you main improvements and new options to the update one to advanced design than one version. Uh, this is a short plan of my part of presentation. Uh, I'll start with the with improvements and new options to advanced design on three areas: modeling and workflow, steel design, and then concrete design. Then I'll focus on uh, design modules. Uh, first, a set of general improvements, then specific to concrete modules, and then uh, related to steel connections model. That, that's the plan of my presentation. <clears throat> Let's start with the modeling and workflow inside advanced design in 21.1 version. So the, the first improvement is related to load combinations. Thanks to two new commands, export to Excel and import from Excel, we can now easily manage load combinations, definitions, by using Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Uh, the mechanism works very well fast and easy. So in case when you want to use some specific combinations or just want to filter combinations using some formulas on Excel, so it can be done easily by using Excel. Um, so, short in one sentence, this improvement allows you easy managing of load combinations by using Excel. Uh, as for several new options, I there are prepared uh, very short videos for showing very quickly how it works. So I will show you a short video now. Okay. I'm not sure we don't music will be better. <clears throat> so you can see in the screen how the export works. So when we have a list of combinations, we just press export button and the Excel file is saved. Then, then on Excel file, we can do whatever we want because it's a Excel file. Uh, next, when it comes to the import, there are two possibilities. Of course, when we have not any combinations, so we can just import all of required combinations. So all prepared earlier combinations on Excel are imported. Or if we have some 
list of existing combinations and as we want to add additional one for example on, on, as on this example the service uh, combinations are just imported to the list of existing uh, um, ultimate combinations so that's a very short movie showing how it works how yes i need to change the slide to then another one okay the next improvement is related to the transfer of loads from advanced design to design modules like uh, rc footing or column module uh, as you know when you export or open concrete element uh, from advanced design model then loads loads from load cases are transferred and by default uh, load combinations are created automatically on design module just to be sure that all required combinations are generated but now now we can <coughs> um, decide if you want export only load cases or also definitions of load combinations so this option is useful when you want to design calculations when you do design calculations for the same combination as are defined on the advanced design model so then of course on advanced design um, design modules we have a predefined the same list of combinations but of course we can add uh, gen regenerate combinations advanced design but that's that's the new opportunity so in short with this we allow for easy transfer of the list of load combinations to design modules and again there's a short video for showing how it works so it's just one minute movie so you can see there is selected one of it's a rc column selected so when we open it on the advanced design you can see that there is a list of load combinations and uh, that that were created automatically but when we when we have a selected list of combinations and we uh, activate the option to export also the definitions of combinations then on advanced design design module we will have exported only that list of combinations it's shorter of course it's how it works so it's very easy just one one option on the on the advanced design settings uh, this update brings us a lot of smaller but required improvements so just a few words about some of uh, so when we create holes in surface elements it is now possible to create a hole in uh, multiple elements of at once based on a polyline that that is uh, cutting through several uh, contours so before we had to create in fact as on that picture four separate contours to to define a hole in each uh, of four uh, planar elements now it can be done at once uh, another very small improvement so on the on the manage ribbon there is added a uh, icon to run the section editor so to speed up the opening the module for creation of on the addition of cross sections and another very small improvement but nice maybe uh, i hope uh, now we can show the thickness value on the tooltips uh, so as the, as there is a thickness because the thickness property is added to the list of available attributes for tooltips so we can see that such small improvements allows for faster creation of openings faster um, makes easier to control the model using tooltips and so on okay um, other improvements the next improvement is related to reports for pushover analysis uh, in the report tables with the status of plastic hinges 
Um, until now, tables, such tables were uh, very long, as always showed the results for all plastic hinges in the model. Now, uh, the table is de depends on the selection. So if you select even one element, only uh, results for plastic hinges of that selected element or elements will be visible on that table. So table will be shorter. And another improvement when displaying a color legend for elements colored by system, in addition to their <coughs> ID number, now the name is displayed of that of that um, system. So it's another very small improvement, but can help in work, if they work, especially when we when you want to use such reviews on reports. Yeah. So again, in short, we can hit shorter pushover reports and better documentation with description of system on save view. That's the main benefits. <coughs> Now is the time for op new options and improvements related to stick design. Um, since this version is possible to perform design calculations of steel linear elements using the current version of the Canadian standard CSA uh, S1619. So we can select this code from the list of available steel standards and just do design calculations for steel elements. So, that's all. So, in short, we can do design calculations of an advanced design using the latest version of the Canadian standard. That's the benefit of that. Uh, and another improvement related to the Canadian market, uh, to the steel profiles. So, steel profiles from the CIS catalog uh, are updated. The changes main concern to changes in naming, uh, adding some missing profiles to catalog and to first just few uh, sections there is some small changes related to values so yes thanks to this we, the steel profile database is now fully compliant with the uh, 11th version of the his handbook uh, Many changes have been made to the presentation of design results for steel elements, uh, especially according to Eurocode. So the most important are the first one is the now there are uh, the, there are uniform rules for the presentation of results for individual checks. Uh, on the standard shape sheet, we can see only performed checks, while on the detailed we can see all. What does it mean? So, for example, when only tension compression or, or compression verification were done of some elements, only that line will be visible on the on the shape sheet. While others, if were not done, they will be not visible there. Of course, if some checks were done uh, and I failed, of course, we, we will see that uh, info there. But on the detailed sheet uh, sheet report, all the all verification will be mentioned. Uh, the cross section class is now displayed for each check separately, so we can see. So they are determined. That section class is determined on the point where the check was done. Uh, for this, a new column is added to the shape sheet. So now it's much easier, let's say, to check results if maybe not for section class one, but for class four, for example, much easier now, even if you have, have a uh, beam with variable height, so the section class is from that section where the check was done. Um, another change, so instead of one check called oblique bending, we have now up to five more detailed entries. So checks uh, by bending moments with an actual force uh, in both direction of bending moments, uh, bending moments with shear forces, and uh, the five is the B axial bending check. In addition, there were changes to text in descriptions, in warnings, in the formulas, and a number of uh, paragraphs that are visible on, on, on next to the formulas. So, so that all makes that the results 
from a steam design are more clear and much easier to to check results according to eurocode uh, rules so in one sentence now <clears throat> we have more clear and more detailed design results for steel elements Uh, now, steel columns, where if are defined as super elements, can be used for automatic generation of imperfection uh, forces uh, according to Eurocode 3. Uh, the point is that we can now decide if during the generation of imperfection forces, the elements, elements that inter intersect the super element are considered as, as connected or not. So as you can see on the screen, when, the, when there is a column uh, that is modeled from two separate elements, but then was defined as super element. So for uh, generation of in, in, imperfection loads, we can decide, okay, it's uh, treated as a one single element. So then we, we, we have forces defined on, on extremities of that super element or or we can we want to um, use these uh, th that columns as trait that columns are two separate elements so then we have forces generated on each segment separately so in short we can use the super elements for calculation imperfection forces in the many possible scenarios Another short, uh, small uh, improvement is related to speed up of the finishness of generic joints for steel elements, because we have now a new command that is available on the right click menu to create generic connection based on the current selection of the steel elements. So it creates a, a single connection for steel elements that are connected in that at the same point. Of course, we know that the generic joints are used mainly for export uh, to advanced design steel connection module uh, advanced design connection sorry uh, advanced design connection uh, so the benefit is clear we can faster model generic joints now thanks to this this, this small but nice option uh, the super element concept can now be used for uh, steel linear elements, also for design calculations according to Canadian and American steel codes, uh, in a similar, the, in the same way as it was available for, for Eurocode since the 2021 version. Uh, so that's all. So that's the benefit. We have now a possibility for using super elements for steel verifications when we use the American or Canadian uh, codes. Now the time for changes related to concrete design on the advanced design. Uh, with this update, it's possible to perform design calculations of concrete, uh, linear or planar elements using the current version of the Canadian standard. So we can select this code on the configuration dialog uh, and, and then we can do design calculation. Of course, uh, not that such uh, code and changes are for calculation inside advanced design, but also for concrete design modules. So modules we, we called earlier beam designer. So it's common for both. So the benefit is obvious. We can now do the reinforcement calculation using the latest version of the Canadian code. Mm. The super element concept is now applied to the concrete linear elements for the reinforcement design, according to your code. Uh, this gives a possibility for design of multiple span, multiple span beams uh, that have different height on, at each span and um, also different height width of supports. So we can do this calculation of that element as a single element. So we have two benefits in fact, we can do reinforcement calculation for super element. So when we define beam as super element, we can just select that one element and we can design multi-span beams with different sections as a single element on advanced design. 
Uh, for this improvement, is there is also a small short video, so I will show you. Okay, as you can see, there is a model with a uh, multi three uh, separate spans, and when we create super element, it's treated as one element, super element. So then when we do the design uh, Feynman design calculations for RC, that RC element, it's treated as one single element. So I, I can sell it one element, just run some, check some results and we can see uh, results. Even if I open the dialog for reinforcement details, so we, I can just select result uh, uh, for each span just by, by pressing one button because it's treated as one element. Okay, next, next slide. Uh, so now is the time for design modules, modules which were, that were called beam designers. As it was mentioned by Joseph uh, on the same beginning in the current 21. version, we continue the process of use, unifying great tech software brand names. So the design modules previously called advanced mean designers are now just called as design modules as advanced design. This rule also applies to names of all modules. So when you see the list of available modules, we can see just name advanced design, RC beams, RC columns, RC phonics, and so on. So of course, then the benefit is clear because now it's uh, thanks to this is on, on this that we, the, we have only one brand name for advanced design uh, modules. Modules that working on advanced design ecosystem is much easier to understand what is what. I hope. Okay, but now we switch to the most important one of the most important changes in, that was introduced with this update of design modules. Uh, it's the increase in the performance. So we did a lot of changes, optimizations in on many areas. So now there is a, so we reduce times of starting modules, loading projects, calculations, and above, above all generation of drawings. So you can see on that, for that very small one span beam results of changes, uh, yes, maybe there are not big numbers, but you can see that the, that calculations are two times faster than in previous versions, uh, and three times times three times faster is generation of drawings. Uh, of course, for bigger beams, bigger objects, not only beams but footings, columns. But for example, when you have multi-span beam, the the improvement is even more. Um, is bigger because instead of several seconds, the drawing can be generated just a few. So much easier, it will be much, much easier to work. Um, and I hope that all this makes that the work comfort and the work efficiency is much better, especially for users that frequently generate drawings. And I will show you a short video related to this. Even it's hard to show the improvement of speed of movies, but I hope uh, you will see just few things. Mm. Okay, so we can see uh, that operationalized just opening projects takes one second. Calculations is also very fast. When it comes to drawing generation, yes, it's just one, two seconds to, to get a drawing. So much, much easier to work. Even changes like, as you see, is change the scale, moving of the <clears throat> views. We don't need to regenerate drawing, so we, you don't need to spend time. Only for operation like that, when I create, added the um, bending details, so drawing has generated. But as you can see that all operations related to drawings are now really, really fast and much easier. It's much easier now to work with drawings and not only drawings. Mm, okay, next point. The, the Slovakia localization is now av available for design modules. It allows for running the design calculations according to Slovak appendix to Eurocode. Uh, 
uh, the selection of the country uh, has impact, of course, on use databases like soil database, soil database, on report templates, uh, on drawing templates, and others. So, of course, uh, has many impact, impacts on many on many points. So, again, in short, settings and calculations are now also available for the Slovak market thanks to that. Uh, Slovakia localization. Um, there are also three new, three new, new commands used for managing the user de data folder. It's a folder when are located all the settings or databases and templates uh, used by design modules. Uh, now we can just easily open this folder which was not too easy before, as by default the folder is hidden by a system, by Windows. Windows. So <clears throat> you can now easily just open that folder. We can easily restore the content, which is especially especially useful when someone made a mess. I don't know, some remove some folders, templates. Uh, so to avoid reinstalling. You can just restore the settings to the just after the uh, installation. So just by pressing the restore default settings button, and you can uh, also purge the folder from the backup older version of user data folders. Uh, it's useful when someone reinstall modules often, uh, and uh, each time when we reinstall or we restore default settings, the previous folder is backup. So in time, it could be takes many gigas uh, on the disk because of that restore uh, backup uh, folder. So that part for user folder it just keeps the only the last the current um, user that data folder. So just you know that for example, all templates related to drawings, to reports, or projects are saved in the templates subfolders. So it's good to to know that we have now. Easily, we can now easily open get the info just by selecting uh, appropriate template. So benefits, of course, better control over the location of configuration file. That's the benefit. And now it's the time for improvements uh, related to concrete modules. Mm, so there are several improvements. Several improvements have been made to the graphical presentation of the views. I will mention only two. The first is a possibility for hiding a form work from 3D view. So just using one button by pressing hide and hide button, uh, we can quickly see the reinforcement without the geometry of the element. So, so it's another easy way to see uh, just a reinforcement. So, the second uh, possibility is a possibility for changing a, a render mode. So, from re full render to new flat render mode. Uh, this new flat render mode is used usually helpful for 2D sections. Uh, it makes that the reinforcement is better visible. Maybe not that uh, picture is not very. Uh, you don't see maybe an uh, improvement, but especially on 2, 2D sections, the reinforcement with that new render mode is much better visible. So I hope it will be very useful for all. So benefits, so all that makes that we have better visibility of the generated reinforcement. Uh, there are many improvements related to displaying loads. So again, I will mention only just two, even there are several more. So first, uh, for concrete uh, beam module, uh, there is a new option, option that uh, allow for arranging loads, either on a single layer or on a multiple levels. So just to see better loads that are defined on separate load cases, uh, we can just by using one button switch on off uh, the presentation type. Uh, 
we have also now a possibility for hiding units and for hiding loads if are smaller if the value of the loads is smaller than the limit value so it can be useful especially when we import elements like a beam from uh, model other model you know, finite element models when we have many secondary small loads from many load cases but we will want to see only the major ones so that's the the purpose for hiding punctual and distribution loads if are smaller than some predefined by us value so as the benefit we can say that we can have clean clear more clear clearer and more configurable display of logs now uh, the layout of the reinforcement assumption dialog uh, has been updated for columns for rc columns rc wall and uh, footing module so as other windows improvement in a similar way to the previous 2021 version we have now layouts with the tree menu on the left with the parameter parameter fields in the center and the explanatory drawings pictures on the on the right so each map so, so it's just only visual change but it's uh, i hope it will be much better easier now to navigate the reform assumptions thanks to that change so benefits uh, thanks to this the definition of change and changes of the reinforcement parameters is just easier and faster uh, the info panel content for the rc modules has been uh, supplemented with additional types of results including for beams uh, we display now uh, the column with the minimal reinforcement areas and uh, there are more details for the top longitudinal reinforcement so we can see the top on the left top on the right and if in case if the top reinforcement is another place that, that could be another third line with uh, longitudinal uh, top <laughs> maximum uh, value um, for columns we now display uh, in addition uh, back informations and results so that part related to backlink on both directions the backlink coefficient backlink length and slenderness value and uh, the reinforcement uh, longitudinal reinforcement is now um, now displayed separately for top and bottom of the column so in case if there are different uh, values in, for the reinforcement you can now can easily see on the just on the um, info panel that two lines and for footing modules for foundations we display now uh, also the summary info for the punching verification for foundations so that's the changes related to the info panels so thanks to this we can increase the control over these results by using the info panel you don't need to go to, to reports to get that results just seeing them in info panel next improvement is related to columns concrete columns so the mechanism for configuring uh, transversal bars in columns is improved now we can easily set the different types of multiple stirrup uh, configurations separately for both directions for example as you can see on the on the two pictures on the right um, you can select one of two possible configurations of multiple links so either two equal or uh, one big and one smaller inside so uh, previous in the previous 2021 version it was not possible to to get let's say the the, the first the two equal uh, stirrups configuration so now 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 it's possible so the main benefit is that now we can we have full control over the layout or transverse reinforcement of the columns that change is available on the on the uh, on the edit dialog so we can do that change especially when we edit the uh, receipt reinforcement 
Uh, there is also another improvement related to food things. Uh, this time, uh, this improvement is related to four continuous uh, foundations. Uh, there is a new option that is separated. Uh, that that is um, uh, that makes that uh, that new option is prepared and is available on the, for the Polish customers. Uh, so we can, according to that option, you can treat that the footing is a uh, pure concrete uh, footing, so continuous footing. So, for example, for the cases of footings under the masonry walls, so it checks if the concrete can can carry loads, and if yes, uh, only constructive reinforcement then generated. So, in short, we have a possibility for a verification of pure concrete continuous footing. And of course, there are many other smaller, let's say, improvements. Uh, so I just mentioned just several of. On the wall module, you can generate the detailed calculation report. When we do the calculation according to the Canadian standard or the American standard, uh, so far we had only a short summary report for Canada and America codes. So now we can check details of calculations of concrete walls or shear walls when we use the North American codes. Uh, when we export a list with load values to Excel from design modules, uh, the values in cells uh, no longer contain units, only the values. Uh, so the units are now displayed on the headers, headers of, of columns. So it makes it just easier to edit loads using Excel because we have just we have values on cells, not values with text. With you know, it was much easier, uh, more difficult to edit values. Now we can just have values. And uh, on RC footing module, now the names of the used soils are now displayed on the elevation view, so you can just easier check the types of defined soil layers, small improvement. So again, in short, uh, we can we have more detailed reports for RC walls for the US and Canadian market. We have addition of loads by using Excel, it's easier. Um, and it's easier to check defined, defined soil layers. Uh, next. On the B module, the list of drawing styles is now expanded with new styles for multi span beams. So, to show the entire multi span beam. So, in addition to existing earlier uh, styles for single span, uh, we have now just, depending on of the, lo of the localization, of course, uh, up to three uh, default. Um, drawing styles for multiple spans. Uh, next change is related for the Poland Polish market. For the Polish uh, Poland localization, there is uh, there are updated uh, project templates, so to fit better default parameters for the Polish market. There are also new drawing templates for the Poland localizations for generating uh, drawings, so either with color or Coral black and white drawings, that's the change. So, and another improvement related to drawings. Um, there are new commands that allows for measuring distances between any two points and also for adding a dimensional line to existing drawings. So if you consider you miss you miss the software module miss some dimensional lines on you just want to add some additional dimension line you can just add that lines using the the the, the, the command from the right click menu <clears throat> so as you can see we have many benefits that can be summarized into one sentence you can customize drawings now in a better way so this is the let's say last part of my presentation related to steel connection modules. Mm, I will start with the mechanism of creation of drawings in advanced design. 
uh, advanced design uh, that has been completely modified. So it's similar as it's the same as for uh, concrete modules. So we have access to the properties of components. You can easily change location of views. You can use drawing styles. And, and there is many other good functionalities that are available with the interactive drawings. So of course, all that makes that we can easily control the content of drawings of from the steel connection modules and we can easily do the modification of views, scales, descriptions, and so on. And there is also a present video presentation for this. It's just two minutes presentation. Um, yeah, showing just interacting drawings for steel connections. So, yes, as you can see, the layout is now different than previous. So, descriptions so you can also just measure values and between the two points scale can be just changed by using uh, stretching points so it's uh, one of the methods of course the second method is to use the property but you can see that we can just using grips uh, course you can uh, also add new options or new sections new views so you can add that views on the drawings so you can play with drawings you can change names of views sections um, so symbols and so on so you can easily manage the content yes the location of element that Uh, next improvements related to gas joints uh, um, the, for the gas joints we can use now the uh, new cross section type the double angle section so two angles connected by one arm so as you can see on the screen so double L sections now can be used for diagonals for one, two, or all. So in short, in short, you can now use new configuration with double angles for that connection type. For the tubular columns bay, uh, base plate connections, we have now a possibility for choosing if the calculation is done using all combinations or, uh, which is our new method, uh, to create envelopes using such combinations. So when we select all combinations, of course, as it was available for other connection types. <clears throat> and speed up calculations, that's the calculation, that's the benefit. Of course, there are more other improvements. Uh, so I just mentioned two. example when we click on the bolt we can just uh, by, by clicking on the bolt we we mm, you can see then the dialog for bolts so it's much easier to edit uh, elements just by clicking them on the views uh, there are also some improvements to the collision dialog 
Uh, so the collision dialog provides more info. So again, benefits in short, we can now much faster access to properties of each element just by double click on it. And it's easier to check uh, where it's for, especially for bolts. Okay, uh, of course, that's all when it comes to presentation of, of improvements. This is a summary slide, selected five improvements of new functionalities in the update one to the Advanced Design 21 version. Uh, so, I have shown uh, details earlier, so just quickly. The first is a possibility to transfer loads combination to design modules. The second is possibility to edit uh, load combinations by using Excel. Third is a possibility for design of concrete super elements. The next is my favorite, increase the performance of working of design modules. modules. And the last, the interactive drawings for steel connections. Um, Yes, the list is nice. Uh, as, as you know that it just updated the 21 version, so it's not a full version, let's say. So you can see that there are many nice improvements on the version. And uh, <clears throat> of course, the full list of improvements and novelties provided with the 21.1 update can be found on two dedicated documents. What's new in Advanced Design 21 and what's new in Design Modules on Advanced Design 21.1. Uh, you can find both documents on the Gretek Advantage website. There are links to the what's new documents. Of course, in addition to um, um, to articles on the Gretek.com uh, website, the detailed list can be found on the Gretek Advantage for on that what's new documents. Okay, that's all. That's all from my side. Uh, thank you very much, Mateusz. Uh, so already, it's uh, as as we can see, uh, even it's an intermediate uh, update. It's an amazing version with a lot of uh, users uh, requests implemented on the left, on the right, on many different areas in advanced design and advanced design modules. So we hope that you enjoyed uh, this presentation. Um, again, as as Mathieu said, you can find a lot of more detailed information uh, in your Gretek Advantage customer portal. So just connect with your logins, uh, download the software, and enjoy uh, this new update for your structural projects. Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, have a nice week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.